at 5. Topping today's stories for your well-being, there is conflicting new information about when women should start getting regular mammograms. A government panel of doctors and scientists now recommends most women wait until age 50 and then be screened every two years. They say mammograms done before 50 result in too many false positives. So how are local health officials responding to this news? News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon joins us with that part of the story. Matt. Well, Mark and Heather, there's actually not a lot of support for it. Now, I talk to a nurse specialist at Parkview's Comprehensive Cancer Center, and she makes a clear-cut case against the study. It's disappointing. It sets, us, sets our efforts back a little bit. Local medical workers feel the study could prevent them from finding cancer early, which can be key in winning the battle. The study suggests most women get a mammogram starting at age 50 instead of age 40. But Parkview's Nancy Imke says that could be devastating advice. Year to date, I've um, sat across, across about 25 individuals who were younger than 50, who were diagnosed with breast cancer, and it was discovered um, through mammograms. The task force study says there have been too many false positives in the past, but Imke says that's not really the case. The incidence of that is actually pretty small with the technology that is currently available. Despite the information and recommendations in that new national survey, local health networks like Parkview Health, for example, aren't changing their recommendations just yet. Our recommendations are as they were yesterday before the study came out, and that is, you know, have those mammograms. Um, I think it's, it's very premature for women to uh, cancel that mammogram appointment. Now, despite the study, most national health groups like the American Cancer Society still recommend mammograms at age 40. That has been in place at least since 2003. So does Parkview think it's going to eventually adopt the policy of 50 and over? Well, they want much more information. They want to hear from national experts and have them weigh in like the American Cancer Society before they decide to change any part of the recommendations. Okay. Thank you very much, Matt. Mm -hmm. Well, another look at the forecast is